to the Vino Review Book Club channel. I'm Sophia and I'm actually filming this video a bit early in the month, but some of the videos that I have planned to film are kind of dependent on this one. So I'm filming this first so I can film some other videos later and I'm referring to my June TBR. Now, our little TBR jar has gotten some new companions and they are these beautiful bookmarks that I have been hand painting. I have three of them here, though I have hand painted six of them. I have this Alice in Wonderland one, which is absolutely stunning. I have Ariel from The Little Mermaid, and I have just a pretty simple one with flowers and this little thingy over here, and they have been living in my TBR mug. So, uh, like I said, these, this is being filmed really early in the month. I have gotten to some books, I haven't gotten to all of them, which means I have no clue about punishments. Uh, if there is any, I will film it later and I will add it to the end of this video so you will see it if I have any punishments, but we're just going to draw the seven usual papers and we'll see what the hell happens after that. So let's start shaking. And I'm going for the bottom. And I have, I have a paper. There we go. And we have a yellow paper that says recommended. Huh, okay. So for recommended, I need to choose a book that has been recommended to me. And a series that actually has been recommended to me a lot is the Nevernight series by J. Kristoff. Cosgrave by J. Kristoff. I do have Nevernight in my TBR for the month of May, so I will pick up the sequel in June. That was book number one, so let's shake this again. I am pulling one from the bottom. There we go little pink paper and it is so spick which means I'm choosing a book for myself which is actually great and for this I am actually choosing um, Conceal Don't Feel by Joan Carnita or Lee's something. This is one of the books from the Twisted Tales series and it's about Elsa and I have no clue what it's about besides being about Elsa but I really want to read it. It has been a book that I am anticipating so let's check this again. from the bottom. Okay, I have one. And it is a thriller. Hmm. Well, now you've caught me. For a thriller, I'm gonna pick something that I should have read. Well, no, actually, brilliant idea. I'm actually gonna read One of Us is Next by uh, Kat M. McManus. And this is actually the sequel for One of Us is Lying, which is kind of murder mystery thriller book. And again, I know nothing about it except it's the sequel for that book. So, yay. And let me shake this again. It's 
I have one. And it is... Oh no, I think it's someone's pick. Oh no, no. Uh huh. We have pet pick again. So, I actually have to get my cats to help me pick a book. I will probably pick Remy again because he's easier to pick up and put him where I want. So, <laughs> we have pet pick again. Uh, I have absolutely no clue what he's gonna choose so roll the clip okay so for pet pick uh i have chain of gold by cassandra claire and here's Hemi. hi no no not now uh i have daughter of the forest by juliet marillier and not yet <laughs> not yet not yet I have The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle and I have Lament of the Lamb by K. Tomei, which is a manga. So I'm gonna put the treats for Penny here and he will pick. Oh no, I don't have enough treats. Oh, I do. So he went for <laughs> you may he went for the adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. Okay, now that we know what my pet picked for me, and you guys are knowing earlier than I am. I am gonna shake my mug again for my seventh, uh, for my, not my seventh, my fifth paper. So let's shake this. Picking from the bottom again. And... Most recent purchase. Uh, my most recent purchase is an ebook, and on my most recent purchase kind of thing, I actually got a, a lot of ebooks, and I'm gonna pick the mermaid by um christina henry and she writes this kind of retellings about uh stuff and they are sort of horror-y so i think i'm gonna go with that because from what i can remember those are like that batch of books is my most recent purchase so let's shake this again You're running away. Okay. I have lowest graded. Oh my god. Let me first of all let me find my tablet. Second of all, let me open my Goodreads and check what the hell is my lowest rated book on my Goodreads shelf. Okay, so uh, I have my Goodreads open and I have two choices. Well, I'm gonna choose between one of these two books and the first one is The Orphanage of Gods by Helena Kwong and it's gonna depend whether I can get it or not. 
and it has a classification like an average classification of 2.9 stars with 226 classifications so yeah the second uh, option that I'm gonna go for or the most probable one actually it's the tenth girl by Sarah Faring this is one of my 20 like books slash series that I want to read in 2020 and it has an average rating of 3.01 with 1269 ratings so these are the two lowest books in my TBR on Goodreads uh, as you can see in my Goodreads rating print thingy so one of those two is gonna be on my list for June. So seventh and hopefully last pick for June. Okay, so we are having a party of yellow and pink papers this month and this one says Becca's pick so I need to go and see what the hell Becca from Becca and the books is recommending so give me a minute so this was one of the books for the catch-up book club, uh, which is Becca's book club for last year. And I didn't get on it until it was too late. So I'm getting to it now and I'm gonna regret this so bad. I'm choosing Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Um, you're seeing the same thing as me, right? Uh, yeah, we have a big book and well, uh, I know everyone knows what Game of Thrones is about. I have never seen the show and I have never read the books, clearly, because I'm starting with the first one. So wish me luck. So I have for now at least two physical books on my TBR and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave me a comment down below tell me what you're reading for June and I will see you guys in my next video bye